can get these quicker than that. Hey, it would be so easy if I could just go out this door now, right? Great, you're gonna do this health tax and shit now. So I have to try and guess what you are with the reverse mind for your first. Why would he do this? This seems like a waste of time. Right? I'm gonna feel for you. I could just bust through at any point and just say this shit, which is just frustrating and a waste of fucking health. I would mean that, you idiot. Not the grenade you were stood right by. Friends? 
hit by it there. All right, time for an encore. Not gonna work. No time for one liner. Spawn in it. Spawn in it, you fuck. Oh, wow. Yes, he's doing this shit. Yeah, she saved me. From it. Oh, he frees you off the edge, shit. Well, I didn't know that. That's a new one for me. Well. Let's just hope it doesn't put you right back and make you do all of the touchy feely he's gonna try and fondle you from the ceiling shit. That's just, yeah, okay, it's doing this bit. Hello. Yes, you are a human. A human. Oh, yay. I'm glad they gave me no space on this platform to in any way get away from that. I love me in a massively long animation. I feel so threatened right now. That was my fault. But then also this friendly thing. So we're just going to do the easy one first. Oh, okay, no we're not, because it's just fucked me. Yay! It just fucked me. Uh, stop. Just stop, you fucking asshole. Yeah! Great white hitboxes. So much fun! I'm having fun, aren't you? Oh yay, he ignored that one, because fuck me, I guess. Just get a few easy hits in, you're blind. Yeah, just dive out of the way, fuck. Yay. See that? Yay, nowhere for me to run, you know. <laughs> oh, we can use this kind of, I guess. But it's still loading it back. I didn't expect that to really knock it down. Okay, we're just gonna, just gonna try some again. Maybe it will hold on to that. I've done him second time, that's not bad. Okay, the, I found out what that does. That's actually really handy. Stay there. <laughs> oh, 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 that's him. I thought you took three hits, but maybe I'm just thinking of all the Mario bosses. He takes way more. Okay, fine. That that's tolerable. So, sorry, Sherry. This is taking forever. It's fine. Sherry's probably doing fine, right? Oh man. So yeah, like that caps off basically this section, which is like that's kind of the big boss fight of this section and yeah you can see how like I don't like that fight I don't like this area yeah so you can just kind of like sum it up as oh yeah I just hate the whole thing here. how she got underneath here first before you Sherry can you hear me oh she doesn't but she... oh no also okay so the point Claire? Sherry, are you alright? She won't go down to help her kid. She'll pull over in from saying, Uh, how are you doing? You look pretty peaky. I'm not doing? going in the trash dump to pick you up I'm though. here to help. Sherry's been implanted. She can't be saved. And that's the kid. <laughs> You're her mother. Get in here! You don't understand. William is still out there, and if I don't stop him, this conversation is over. Wait. Wait. I, I can treat her in my lab. It's 
It's not far away. <laughs> you need to get adopted, kid. <laughs> you really like social services Just need to time. have a talk. Millions of lives are at stake. Sherry, mommy loves you, sweetie. What a funny way of showing it. Goodbye. She's been implanted. She's been implanted with me. the virus. Sherry, don't worry. I will get you whatever you need, okay? Oh, why are you doing this? Because your mom Because I care. Because <laughs> I'm your new mom now. <laughs> so is there... Seriously. So you think, oh yeah, it couldn't get worse, right? Couldn't get couldn't possibly get worse. I mean... Oh, so here we go through that. Like, you're thinking, oh, she's, she's a bit bad for abandoning her child. She's a bit bad for implanting her child with the fucking VG virus. That said, her lab's not far. Wait, that cable car. Yeah, didn't anyone else think it's a bit weird there's a fucking cable car? This is the, uh, yeah, like, this is what I mean about Annette being irretrievable as a human being, and it's very easy on, to Sherry. just go, oh, yeah, but, you know, like, the Birkins, are the, it's like, no, she's an irretrievable piece of shit. And, like, let's be fair, William wasn't much Almost better. There, Sherry. It's just you only see Almost him there. as a mutated monster, so you're like, oh, okay, so he's legit just a, like, bio weapon Good. freak. The cable car. Look, we're here. <laughs> Literally, if you're going to give your kid the wristband that lets them into your lab facility, why wouldn't you leave them in the lab facility? Here. Maybe it wasn't okay. safe, but it doesn't look like anywhere else was. And also, you can plant her with a virus and allow her to just walk around just public. On, okay. You're going to be just fine. Look, she's... You see what I mean? Umbrella are like the worst of it. We're going to test on people and then let them just walk the okay. fuck around in public. Check everything. <laughs> like, you know. There's no turning back. So that's the line. There's no turning back, they say. Oh, I shouldn't have done that shit. There's no turning back at this point, is what they say. Which means, literally, you, if there's anything else you would want to do in the game, do it now. There is one thing... Actually, there are several things I could do in the game. You can see there is like a line of space under here. We will get one more pouch probably in the lab area. I'm pretty sure we missed a pouch. We've missed a gun modification for this, which would give it like a laser sight or something. I can't remember what it is, but it's like another thing for this. But I don't really care for this gun anyway. And you might have noticed that it doesn't matter how many sights you give me. It's still pretty shit with the guns. <laughs> like, you know, so don't matter. That actually took a lot less time. I was like, this session's gonna be grueling, and it's like, it took me like an hour and a bit. I'll check the recording. But we'll probably move on and actually do a bit of the lab section. This tram is bound for Nest. Do not exit until the final destination. Where did I go? And look. Like, they always sit there, like, Ada Wong's, when Ada Wong's talking to Leon. Uh, 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 hey. Are you okay? Jackets so warm. That's bullshit. Leather jackets are never warm. My brother <laughs> gave it to me. You know it's supposed to be lucky. Leather jackets I don't are weird. Know what I'd do you. We're talking are you about kidding me? You were doing just fine without me, so I came along and got you all sorts of trouble. I have something of yours. I don't want it. Really? Why not? It's so pretty. It's from my mom. For my birthday last year. Sherry knows her mom's an asshole. Uh, all I really want is a 
really wanted was for her to be home more. And not implant me with a fucking virus and let me walk around the public. I know, it seems like your mom doesn't care, but... Uh, <laughs> it hey, really uh, does seem like that. <laughs> I know it seems like your mom doesn't care, but I have no way to complete this sentence. Please stop being in pain. Hang in there, okay? No. She never redeems herself either. Like she does sacrifice stuff and she does her best, but it's like it's okay. really late you. and Come really on. just like oh, you know, whatever. I was like, oh wow, you tried to stop the thing you could have stopped like before it got to this critical juncture and failed. And a player character had to solve the problem. Uh, uh, I'm getting you treatment. Just hold on, Sherry. It's okay. We'll talk about leather jackets when we get through the cutscene. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. For your safety, stand clear until the doors are fully open. Welcome to Nest. Enjoy your visit. So we need to put we need to put the, the girl down. Put her down. Okay. Um there you go. Notice the story beat is often Pro right. Tag loses their fancy no jacket work. and gives it to somebody or just loses it at huh. some point. RE4, gotta be something Leon here. loses his jacket pretty early on. Antiviral agent. That's now it. Now Claire loses That's her gotta be jacket. It. Hmm. It's like a story beat. I'll hey. give you my jacket. Hey, Sherry. I gotta go. Would Looking you stay right good, here, though, kid. okay? Looking good. <laughs> I'll be back soon. I promise. I stole her. Thank you, Sherry. We now look at the thing. Alert. Use the devil antiviral thing. Oh, I don't remember reading this. If you have been infected with the G virus, use the anti thing. Seem to work out well for everyone I've seen so far. But yeah, first of all, if you're going to work in the lab, and you're gonna implant your own child with the virus. Ethical concerns aside, the lab would not allow a test subject to just then wander the fuck around in public. Because if something does go wrong, what we've seen happen upstairs would be happening way more off prominently, and Umbrella would just be like, what the fuck? Like, you know, you. I, I get pissed about Umbrella all the time, because it's like comically poorly run. Risha's lab area. It's poorly run to the point of a farce. It's like it's run by the people who ran like police academy or something. It's like it's like beyond Wayland Utani levels. It's not just greed and like not giving a shit about your employees. It's literally like we don't care if our bioweapon just gets thrown out there any at any point. It's basically the premise for most of the games I know. And also, like, Ada says something to Leon, I was saying before, about the reason the labs are down here is because they own Raccoon City because the people are corrupt. It's, like, so corrupt so that apparently they knew them before the city was built so that they could have an extra large labyrinth built underneath standard sewer systems and have them written off of the map because you cannot post, go down underneath a city's sewers, and just to carve out a massive lab space. You're, you know, there's foundations to the entire city. It's like, you know that London, they can't get down to even do maintenance to the old pipes in London because it's so... Oh, look, it's Authorized me. staff only beyond this point. Guests must refrain from entering. When you think about that, that means guests are allowed to sit on the sofa look in the security room, well they're not in the security room, basically come here and maybe go in here, which is just like, probably, you know, legit, nap room log, 
Look, all these people left. Really weird times. But Wayne didn't get out. Poor Wayne. More law. ID wristbands. So this just explains, as we saw, that one, you got one, two, three, and there's a hidden fourth one, which uh, we need later or something. I can't remember. Uh, let's just... So like I was saying, um, yeah, you know, you realize old cities like London where the infrastructure was built years ago and it's so old and so crumbling that if they fuck with it, they risk basically collapsing entire city blocks because it was so poorly put together or wasn't designed to have an entire main city street plonked on top of it years later in post in such a ramshackle way. <laughs> Still got wooden boards. Um, yeah, I'm just going to put this away for now. I, I don't think I want to use it. No offense to the gun. Um, yeah, and it's just like, you know, if that's the case for a major city, I'm going to head ahead and assuming that a kind of, I'm assuming Midwestern kind of style area, kind of American town that seems to have been built with some very classical style buildings. If you look at the building construction and the police station, you're looking at a fairly old city. You can't then just go down and look even at the sewer architecture. It's got arches and shit. They don't do that anymore. You're thinking, it wasn't built with the idea of going in post and shoving a fucking research facility in underneath. And you tell me Umbrella was around in like whenever they settled Raccoon City. Just saying. <laughs> Seems like bullshit. Doesn't matter how corrupt your city is. Just go corruption, I guess. And then just going on with it is like, mm, okay. I'm going to call bullshit on that. Just going to say it. Cool bullshit. Okay, so there's a lot. We need this. We're going to be using these. We've got sub weapons. We've got healing items. We've got this. We should be fine. Now, Claire in this guy is, reminds me of the new Lara Croft Tomb Raider series, Tomb Raider, where she looks a bit like this, but with a blue top. It's not the same, I know. Oh, we're just saving it. Waste of saves. It's going to ruin my ranking along with the fact that I took two deaths. Um, yeah, so uh, what else was I going to say? Leather jackets, another thing I'm going to point out. Leather jackets are fucking annoying because they're made out of cowhide, normally, or some other animal's hide. Or a faux version that reacts in a similar way to light and sunlight, as hide does. Oh, yeah, this area. I forgot we go in here first. That means it acts very much like a form of toughened skin, because that's essentially what it is. Pure leather jackets, like my cowhide one I bought in Barcelona, is just another skin, which means it is waterproof up to a point, but then the leather cracks if you allow it to dry through excessively heating it, because it's like dead skin. You have to care for it in a very special way, because it's skin, <laughs> like, you know, it's like dead skin, so it's not moisturizing itself anytime soon. You, you're supposed to, like, it's, there's a whole way of looking after them. You know? There's like a whole method to looking after this leather that a lot of people don't do because they're just like, oh, I can't be bothered. And it's like, no, well, if you do, you really have to do it because they start to stink and they fade much quicker if you don't do these things. Okay. So these guys obviously were using the antiviral agent. <laughs> Working out well for them. I love that it's called Devil. It's called the Devil Trigger. Our menu is to for nutritional needs. Use our latest biological research. Please ensure our tasty selection of healthy foods. Tasty selections. Oh yeah, I'm supposed to be saving these. I kept keeping your acid rounds. I'm a fucking idiot. Look at the waste. We know this area is clear. Oh, it's not. 
it's not clear. <laughs> I was like, it's clear, and he goes, Bruh. So what are we looking at? Oh, that's for the, um, the electro shotgun. You don't get many rounds for that gun. I said that a lot. Hand grenade. I do care for hand grenades. What's that? Oh. Ah. Shit. The problem with this Uzi is it's got quite a wide spread, so yeah, it's quite hard to aim for the head with wounds, so you have to hit the chest a lot. I guess that's cleaning? I don't know what the point is. So yeah, leather is a weird thing to maintain. It's a completely different, you can't just shove a leather jacket in a washing machine, of course, and there's a lot of stuff like with heat. They're like, oh, your jacket's so warm. Your jacket's not going to be warm if you've been wading through a sewer for like the past few things. Leather jackets don't retain heat particularly well. Trust me, from a guy who has literally stood in festivals with a cowhide jacket on his back with a layer of denim over the top and just a couple of patches on the denim. They don't retain heat. You get very cold very quickly. They drop heat just as fast as a human being would drop heat. They barely do anything. Proper cowhide will stop a knife. <laughs> like, you know, if you got thick enough cowhide on you, it will stop a knife. But like... They get really hot in the sunlight, they're black, they're heavy, they're leather, it makes you sweat a lot, which actually makes it worse when then it gets cold because it does not have any drying element to it whatsoever. It does not keep you warm, thus drying you internally in terms of drying like your t-shirt once it's soaked through with sweat. Then it gets to late at night and you're in Belgium and it's free in the morning and you're watching Slayer and you're freezing your goddamn tits off and you've run out of money to buy any alcohol to numb the pain. <laughs> like, you know? Trust me. Trust. God, that's so annoying that that's there. There's a guy in here. It's this guy. Just this guy in here. Might be a guy in here. So you steal this guy's wristband. Good thing about this key item is it fits in one slot. This Murph. <laughs> Murph. Okay, um, we don't get this for a while. There's an upgrade in here for the, the gun I put away. The spark shot. I'm gonna have to come back. There's a lot of good shit here, and I've come, oh, I've come so overloaded. Guess we can use Bastard. some on this guy then. That's a tough ass zombie. Oh, look at that shit. Hey, it's really like vibing with me right now. She really knows what I'm thinking. He's like, oh my god, you shot me in the mouth. Yeah, I know, I shouldn't be wasting my time. Let's check my... Yeah, so I'm gonna have to put some stuff away. I don't need four weapons on me at all times, but like, I'm just like, oh, you know, I just wanna style switch. So yeah, leather does not stay retain heat, even from the person's body heat particularly well. It just kind of radiates out pretty quickly. Uh, Dr. Lee, your presence is urgently requested by Chief Cartwright in the East area. Uh, I don't care. Oh, no. This. Let's just have a little look. I don't need two knives right now. Oh no, I should have... I'm going to stockpile hand grenades for a while because I kept accidentally using them. Um, yeah, I'll need that. Um, I don't really need so much stuff. Yeah, I 
yeah, I know we're going to get a mod for this gun, but I'm not going to take the gun out, because that takes two slots. So it's a big gun. DOH. Still dead. I don't trust. I don't like these doors opening as well without my permission. So we need these. We're gonna get this. There was a knife in the other room. We can go back and get it. I don't know if I'm gonna bother coming back. There are there is some I think there is a pouch in here when you come back with the, the electric transistor thing. Three knives now. Something's getting stabbed, that's for sure. Um yeah. So I got all my weapons. Ah, uh, no man. Leather jackets are cool. Leather jackets are really cool. I wish I had more money to buy more leather jackets, because it's actually like, I wear them all the time. I don't care if it makes me look like an old man. <laughs> like, you know, I just wear them all the time and everyone's like, yeah, you know, he's gonna wear them. Like, he's that kind of guy. Ow. Just taking this out just to do this, really.